Good Stories, Volume 1. Yo, check this out. You know, I'm from Elizabeth, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the project, so we do a little bit of everything there. Um, me and my boy, no one need no names, but let's just call him Flex. So we meet these chicks. And I'm like, all right, yeah, we're going to go check these chicks out. They lived in um, Avenel, New Jersey. So I'm like, we're going to check them out, yo. Hold up, let me um, go get some gas real quick. We put gas in the car. So we rolled out there, shit, to see these chicks. So we there bugging out, partying, smoking, drinking all day. It was like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning by the time the chick mother come home. So she was like, I don't know where y'all going to go, but y'all going to get the hell out of here. So we said it like, all right, well, sure, I'm good. My car right there. So I go in the car to start the car. The, start, the car don't start. I tried four times to start the car. And he looking at me. I'm looking at him like, yo, we got to make something happen. And that's just when the, um, what kind of phone was it? The, um. The fucking, the fucking fake cell phone came out. You had about minutes. They kind of blue, yellow, red. For, they, they was Neos or some shit like that. The Kios, the first ones. It was like, you put like $20, $20 on the phone or whatever, and you can make, you know, so you can make your calls or whatever. You can make calls until your money run out. So this was like around 94. Matter of fact, I said it's summer 93. So we, you know, so we, I'm like, yo, what are we going to do, bro? Da, da. So I called the chick that I was talking to because this chick mother is tripping. So the chick I was talking to, she just went home. I'm like, yo, you got to come give us a ride home, man, because um, my car not starting. She was like, oh, my mom's going to let me back out the house, this and that. I'm like, yo, for real? We came out here to see you and shit. See you and your girl. My car won't start. You got to get us home. So she was like, her mom's going to let the house. I'm like, I, I canceled that whole. You know what I'm saying? It's over. I'm done. Whatever. So I called a taxi, right? So the taxi came. I'm like, I'm like yeah, uh, we're trying to go to Elizabeth. He's like, oh, no, I don't go out there. I don't go out there. That's too far. You and you in the hood? No, we don't go out there. I'm like, yo, man, I got the money. I showed him my money, everything, bro. So now by the time all this happened, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. No buses are running out the area. We're trying to catch the last bus, but we missed it by like 15 minutes. So by the time we got there, it was like, the bus ride, I think the last bus was like 2.52, two, I mean, I mean two, two, um, 2.15, some shit like that. It was a 62. My boy Flex know what I'm talking about. So, boom. So, I'm like, yo, how we gonna fuck get home? He was like, yo, man, I'm like, fuck it, let's just walk. So, our dumbasses, we take a walk down 109 Highway from Avenel. We walk from Avenel all the way to Elizabeth. I had some brand new black Tims on. You know what I mean? Yo, by the time I got home, my phone had died. So by the time I put the phone on the charger, yo, she, the other chick called me, oh, are you ready? I can take you home. My mother says, it's cool. Like, yo, check this out. We already home. Don't call me no more. So me and my boy Flex, we sitting, we sitting in the motherfucker. We sitting in my grandmother's house, right? My grandmother, she on vacation or something. She on vacation. I think she was in Vegas or something. So we sitting in my grandmother's house, right? I take off my tens, he take off his tens, but we got we both got blisters on our feet. Yo, when you see Fletch, you can ask him, he'll tell you. That was horrible. So I'm like, yo, it took us, we didn't get home till like four o'clock in the morning. Maybe later than that. Matter of fact, the sun was coming up, so it better be like five thirty six. So we get to we get to my house and shit. We both take a shower, you know what I'm saying? We smoking, we smoking a bone and shit. So I'm like, yo, I'll go make this bread real quick. So we go out, we go out on the block real quick. He's standing there with me. I make, I make some, making some sales or whatever, you know. Yo, put it like this. The shit was kicking. The shit was so fire. I moved about three thousand dollars for crack in forty five minutes. World life. I'm like, yo, check this out. Yo, let's go to New York. Now I want, I just wanted to go shopping to chill. You know what I'm saying? So we get to New York. So we take we take we we have to train in New York. First, let me go back. I had to call and get my car towed back home. That was like two hundred some change, whatever. I'm like, All right, cool. Just park it right here. I just get it fixed later. 
So we uh, so then we go. So we, I make my money. We go to New York. So we in New York. I'm like, yo, fuck that, yo. Let's go to Queensbridge. I know a lot of guys out there. Da 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 da. I know this chick that live in the Queensbridge projects. You like, oh, you're true. Let's go. Fuck it. So we hop on the we we hop on the um the subway. I forgot what train it was. You know what I'm saying? We have a sub we have a, a subway. Go to Queens, right? Queensbridge. So boom, I walk in the house. I'm like, I'm walking. I walk through there. All the people see me, right? The people that see me, they was they didn't know me. So I'm like, I'm going to see this chick. We're going to see this chick. So we go up in the house. Shit. She lived. She lived on like what is it, fifth floor, or some shit like that. Go up to the get up there. So we chill her girl there. We doing what we do. We go out. We bugging out. You know what I'm saying? We go out to eat. Go to the movies. Go shopping. So we going back to her crib and shit. Back to the project. So we go back. It's a bunch of niggas huddling around her door. So when we go up to go to the house, right? So check. So so one of the dudes is like, "Yo, it was her brother and her baby father." So I'm like, "Yo, check this out, yo." Who do you do? She's like, oh, that's my brother, my baby father. I'm like, your brother, your baby father, boys? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, word. I'm like, all right, no problem. So, you know, I'm, you know I, got, I, got a little, I got a little 380 on me, nothing major, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, if anything jump off, we got to do what we got, bro. He had a 38. I'm like, cool, cool, whatever. So we go up there, we stay up there for about an hour. Check it out. Check it out. So we go up there, we stay up there for about an hour. She's like, y'all gonna leave now? Why don't y'all wait till you leave to leave? I'm like, nah, yo, we gotta go back home. I gotta get this money, you know? But I'm going to come see you in a, in a few days. You know what I'm saying? Just hold it down for me. So we um we leaving this shit. So we leaving. The, all the niggas that crowd around the door, they were still there. So I'm walking through. I had on, I had on, I had on my G, I had a Jesus piece on. You know what I mean? Because to me, back in the day, the hottest pieces that you had on your chain was a Jesus piece, yo. Because the way the fucking crown glistens, you know what I mean? Like, that shit tight. Whatever. He had on his jewelry, so we walk we walking through. So niggas look at me like, yo, where y'all from? So I looked at him, I thought to my boy, I like keep walking, but I don't say nothing, man. Just keep walking, you know what I mean? I don't know none of these cats, my man's are not here. Let's just keep walking. And he gonna say, Yo, we from Eastwood, we from Elizabeth. Man, I was like, why the fuck did you even say anything, bro? So they was like, Yo, B. What you doing now? Not? I'm like, check this out, yo. I'm God body, man. I'm God straight up. I ain't got no time for the beef and no drama. You know what I mean? What's what's science? You like, oh, are you God? Da da da. You like, what's today's degree? You know, we building, we building, we building. So my 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 mans, you know what I'm saying? He's a swine eating nigga, but it's my mans. We grew up together. He could eat swine. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'll kiss your ass, nigga. Fuck it. So he don't know nothing. I'm like, yo, he ain't, he don't got knowledge of self, man. I only got knowledge of self. Who gave you knowledge of self? My old God. Who's your old God? So I told my old God is whatever. So next thing you know, he's like, hold up one second. He leave. One of the guys leave. So I'm standing there. I'm sitting there like, God damn, we're going to have to bang out with these niggas. So I'm like, I'm a little nervous, but I'm not too nervous because I got my, I got that little, that little, that little, that little thing on me. I'm like, nah, man. We got, I got 380 on me, baby. Nah, I'm like, we good, man. He got three. I'm like, we good. Just don't, if they move funny, then we start letting off, and then we haul out, we shoot out the motherfucking projects. I already told, I told him that from the rip. So this nigga, he get a little nervous. I'm like, just chill out, bro. Just wait. Let's just see what happens. Because I'm not going to roll out there. I'm not going to roll. I ain't going to run. I ain't, no, I ain't no coward nigga. I'm like, yo, I'm going to do what I got to do, man. So let's just, let's just chill, bro. So he got nervous, and that nigga darted. I'm like, come on, bruh. What's going on? I'm like, yeah, check it. So he darted. I'm there by myself now. So he come back. Well, I'm, God, Sham God is my God, brother. So he come back. Well, Black Sham God a law. Black Sham came up. He's like, yo. He's like, yo, that's, he's like, yo, that's my people right there. Me and his father, we we go back. He's like, that's 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 Kwayam, son. That's little Kwayam right there. Bruh. If they saved my fucking life out there in Queensbridge that day because them niggas that didn't, them, them, most, them savage niggas that didn't have knowledge of self, they just really put one in my ass. Real talk. Had to let them know, though. Like, yo, man, this is who I am. This is who I come from. This is what I do. I ain't scared, nigga, because I was scared. I wouldn't be out here. So, um, so, uh, 
Gosh, um, gosh, um, gosh, I know. Oh, that's why I was like, yo, check this out. You came here empty handed? I know, I'm not, I pulled him out th my little 380. I know, I'm good. I wasn't worried about him. I, I ain't no cowboy. I ain't gonna run. And I'm just not gonna shoot nobody for nothing. He's like, yo, come for a ride with me. I'm gonna, I'll take you, I'll take, matter of fact, I'll take you home afterwards. So I go for a ride, I go see God, Sham, God, and we all bugging out, we talking like, yo, I, yo, I see you this season, bro, I see you this season, I'm gonna give it to y'all. We laughing and bugging out about it. And then, um, he, he drove me all the way to Jersey. He was like, you, I had my clothes and everything, the shit I did, I got bootleg tapes to see, bootleg tapes and shit like that. He was like, um, you good out here now, bro. He's like, they know you ain't a coward. You didn't back down. You didn't do nothing. Um, yo, come through wherever you want to, man. You family, bro. Just holler at me next time. Let me know you in, you run away. I told my ass peace, whatever. You know what I mean? But Flex, if you watching this, bro, you almost made me wear ass with by myself, nigga. For real. <laughs> we was young, so it was all good, man. You know, you got to take a couple bumps and bruises. That shit was funny as hell, though. But, yo, that's my hood story, one volume, volume one. You know what I'm saying? Eastwick times, yo. We did it big out there, for real. Peace.